Today, we're gonna to look at how to build out the dark mode colors to our light mode library, which we built in the last video. We're also gonna look at how to easily test and make changes to our dark mode colors. And we're also gonna look at some of the theory behind, behind how to choose our dark mode colors uh, themselves. I will also put this template available to download for free consisting of all these variables to give you a nice starting off point for your design system. A link for that will be in the description. Let's get started. Before we get started, be sure to join our Slack community at uicollective.co. And we still do have our design system tracker and free public beta. So be sure to check out both. Both links will be in the description. All right. Before we get into building out the actual dark mode library itself, again, just adding on to what we did in the last lesson, I wanted to cover some of the theory uh, of dark mode to show you how easy it is. And whenever someone comes to me and says, how on earth do I build a dark mode variable library? My response is always the same, is you already have all the colors that you need. You know, you shouldn't be adding 200 more colors to your library. Uh, you know, if you are, you're probably doing something wrong. So what I have here is just a green color scale. In my local variables, what I have is again, in our brand collection, I have those same colors just mapped out here. So our green darkest through our green lighter. And then I assigned each of these colors the role of success in our alias collection. If you're not too sure about the purpose of any of these collections or why we're doing what we're doing, um, I'll leave a couple links in the description to some videos that will help with that. So again, I have our brand collection with our green colors and I assign those the role of success in our alias collection. Now for this example, before we get into building out the actual library itself, what we're going to do is we're just going to build two buttons a success button in light mode and a success button in dark mode. And what are the elements that we would need to build a, su a successful button? We would need a surface color and a text color. So I am going to add a surface success <clears throat> and I'm gonna add a text success. And for our surface success, let's just maybe say it's success light. We always change it afterwards. And for tech success, let's say it's success dark. Let's then go ahead and just build a quick button, test this out so we can make changes if we need to. Again, it's an iterative process. Say this is called button. Let's add some auto layouts, add a quick fill, and let's select our surface success. And then for our text, let's, success, let's uh, select our tech success. Now this as it stands, a horrible looking button. This went past your accessibility checks. So what we can do is just simply go into our mapped collection and just change the alias to success lighter. And that looks way better. So let's call this just button. Let's create the component of this, copy symbol for testing, and let's put, oops, don't wanna put our component in the frame. Let's uh, put our symbol in the frame. So then let's call this uh, a light button. <clears throat> So what we can do here then is let's just extend this out is let's mark on our uh, color scale where the colors that we're using are. So let's um, add a quick ellipse. And this is our green lighter that we're using for um, our surface. So if we go back in, let's just double check. We have our success lighter, which maps to our green lighter. And let's assign this the color of red. There we go. And then for our text, what we're using is we're using our success dark, which maps to our green dark. Green dark. And I am just simply going to change the color of this. There we go. So we have our green lighter and we have our green dark. Now for dark mode, what we're going to do is just start by inversing those colors. So our green lighter would become our green darker. Again, this is a starting point. And our green dark would become our green light. That simple. Let's try it out. So let's go back into our local variables in our mapped collection. Let's add another mode. There we go. Running at a screen space here. So let's rename this to light. And then let's rename this to dark. Get this out of the way move our component. I'm just going to hide the component. Um, okay, so for our light, again, we have our success light, our green lighter, and our text, we have we're using um, our green uh, dark color. So again, for our surface, what do we say? So if our surface is that green lighter color now, we want it to be our green darker color, which would be 
our success darker. Our success dark would become our success light. That's simple. Let's then go ahead and try this out quickly. So let's just assign this as our light mode. Again, I'm just going to close this. And then let's say this is our dark button. And then let's assign this to our dark mode. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, um, but I'm actually going to make uh, a quick change. I think I just want that, that surface color just to be a little bit darker. So I'm actually going to push it up uh, to our green darkest. And I think that will make a little bit of a difference. I'm actually going to change this background color uh, as well. There we go. Um, so what I can do then is, again, just go into your local variables. And let's just change our surface to our success darkest. And that is a look of a success dark mode color that I really like. So again, you're not reinventing the wheel when you're building out um, your dark mode library. Is you're really just inversing what you already have in your light mode. Again, it's usually the opposite. But again, if you need to play around with your colors, it's more than fine to do so. So again, I hope that's a really good example as to how we were able to build a dark mode button using the exact same colors that we were using for our light mode. All right, so now let's work on uh, building out uh, the dark mode uh, to our light mode for the library that we built in our last video. If you haven't yet uh, watched that video yet, I would strongly suggest you do so. Basically, what we did is we just built uh, a variable library from scratch together, covering all the variables that we might need. Again, starting with our branding collection, and then to our alias collection, um, and then all the way uh, to our mapped collection. So let's start off by just looking uh, at our uh, text to start, and then we'll move to our icon, our surface, uh, and then our border. So just as I mentioned when you were chat when we were talking about the theory, is let's just do the opposite for our dark mode as we have with our light mode. We can always make uh, tweaks later on as we're testing out some of the components, which we'll do uh, with the last part of this video. Um, so let's start off. So we have our headings, which is black. So for dark mode, we'll make that white. For our body. It is our neutral darkest, so let's make it our neutral lightest. Now, if a color doesn't have a darker or a lighter, what I like to do is I just like to leave it as is to start. I can always come back and make tweaks uh, afterwards. Our action hover is primary dark, so let's make it primary light. Neutral will stay, stay the same, because again, don't have a darker or lighter. Same with highlight and same with information. Our success dark, I know we covered this in the last part of this video, but for now, let's just make it our success light. Uh, our warning darker will become our warning light. Now, this is an interesting one um, because the variable library that I was building here, this is referenced off our own, where we might not always have the, um, the each denomination of colors. So if we have a warning darker, we might not have a warning lighter. So if that's the case, then just choose the next best thing. Um, so we have our error dark. This will become our error light. Uh, our neutral white will become uh, our black and our neutral darker will become uh, our neutral lighter. So again, I just did the opposite as best I could uh, for our dark mode from our light mode itself. And again, at the end of this video, we'll do some testing uh, where we can go come back and make some changes uh, as we need to. Next, let's look at our icon colors. So now let's do the same for our icon colors. So again, our neutral darkest will become our neutral lightest. Our information doesn't have a darker or lighter, so I like to leave those the same for now. Same with success, same with warning, and same with error. <laughs> really that easy. Um, next, let's look at our surface. So again, for our surface, let's just do the exact same thing. So our page white will become black. Same with our primary. Our disabled, which is our neutral lightest, will become our neutral darkest. Our success light, which is our success light, will become our, I already did this in the last video, but just for now, our success dark. Uh, our air light, this will become our air dark. Warning light, in this case, let's just say uh, for now it becomes our warning darker. Information lighter, this becomes our information, uh, let's just say it's our information dark. Uh, highlight stays the same, again, no light uh, or dark. And again, let me just reiterate something here. Um, is I know we have our warning lights, but we don't have a warning dark. It's just the way that we set up our library. And again, if you also fall into this category where you don't have a direct opposite, just use something uh, as close to as possible because we'd always come back and make changes later on. Highlight stays the same. 
our primary stays the same. Again, no light or dark onto it. And then our primary dark in this case will become our primary light. There we go. There we have our dark mode the surface colors. Uh, next, we'll look at our border. Now let's do the same thing for our border. Again, our uh, primary, which is our neutral light, will become our, our neutral lighter, will become our neutral darker. Primary will stay the same. Again, no lighter or darker on the end of it. Same for information. Same for success. Same for warning. Same for error. Same for our disabled. Same for our action. Our action hover will become our primary light. Again, just the inverse of primary dark. Our focus will stay the same. And our highlight will also stay the same. So really that easy for this one. Um, what we're going to actually do next is look at testing uh, our dark mode colors and make some tweaks as we need to. All right. So now what we're going to do is actually test out um, some of our combinations that we made in dark mode. So what I have here is essentially just a quick button component. Again, one for information, leveraging all our information colors, one for success, another for warning, another for air, another for disabled, another for action, another for action hover, and another for our focus. What we're going to do one by one, again, this is a good example of how easy it is to really test out your dark mode colors and make pivots where required, is just simply drag in uh, our light mode button on each of these different the elements into uh, our frame with dark mode applied, and again, with the, with the surface color also applied as well. So I can see here that our light mode, we have our surface page, which is light, and then on dark mode, we have our surface page, which is that black. So let's start off with our information. I'm going to drag this in. And one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that that text is super hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this uh, background a little bit darker here. So I'm just going to go into uh, our surface. And this is our surface information. Scroll to our dark mode. And let's make it darkest. And now all of a sudden, that's way easier to read. Let's then go into uh, our success. And... That does, actually doesn't look half bad. Um, but one thing that I have here is I just have this icon, which is a little bit of a different color than the text that I'm using. Um, then, you know, that's relatively fine in the grand scheme of things. But what I'm actually going to do is I just want to make uh, this stand out a little more. So I'm going to change our surface success to our success darkest. And there we go. Let's then do the same with our warning. You know what? That actually doesn't look that half bad but let's see if we can improve it uh, in any way so we have our warning so our surface warning let's make it our warning darkest that actually looks okay uh, let's see so we got our border warning you know what? yeah i actually really like the look of that so we'll keep that as is let's then do the same for our air oof and that's not really good so let's change uh, our air dark to our air darkest and maybe it's just something about that red, um, but I think it's almost a little bit too strong on dark mode. So what I can do is uh, change our air to maybe make it, oops, I adjusted that on the wrong theme, excuse me. So we have our air, let's make it air dark so it's a little bit more soft and subtle. Let's then go to our disabled. Our disabled is not that bad. Uh, one question that I do have uh, is the color contrast if that's enough so what i'm actually thinking is oops let's go with our text this is our text disabled there we go so we have our text disabled the reason just i checked there is i have a uh, disabled a text disabled and then also a text on disabled just different use cases so let's make our neutral let's make it neutral light and maybe we can make it a little bit more let's make it uh neutral lighter there we go. I think that stands out a little bit more, but also still gives the vibe as if the button's uh, disabled. Let's then go with our action. Let's drag that in. No, yeah, I think that's relatively okay. I think that gets the job done. Let's then go with a action hover. Yep, so I can see that it's just a slight color differentiation, which we would want to see. Again, uh, if we're hovering on our action, the color would get a little bit lighter. And then let's drag in uh, our focus. And I think that's fine in the grand scheme of things. But you know what? Maybe I actually want this to be uh, a little bit white, uh, our border. So our border focus, uh, let's change that on dark mode to maybe, let's change it something completely lighter. Yeah, something like that I think is fine. So there you go. 
There is how easy it is to test out your different components uh, on both light mode and dark mode and make tweaks uh, as required. Thanks so much for watching today's video, everyone. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Honestly, your support goes a really long way. Uh, hope to see you online, UI Collective, and see you at the next video.